everyone, welcome to my channel. Today, I'm going to show you my WWE SmackDown Live reactions. So let's get started with it. SmackDown's exclusive pay-per-view this Sunday in Sacramento at no I'm really excited to see this Sunday's pay-per-view. There's a lot of good talent on SmackDown, unlike on Raw, where they're not even used most of the time. I kind of like why I like SmackDown better than Raw because they actually use all the talent they got. Um, Raw just does it really. This is not when you're around the Rosie. King! Yeah, you don't want to make him in the dark, dark alley. Ever. The way he's handling Kane is like very rare. If ever. Oh, Wyatt, this is Ooh, what that that hurt. That's the thing about the devil's favorite demon, he always gets back up. That's one way to realign your spine and jack the back full head. Escape by Kane! Crashes into Wyatt in the corner. Go Kane. Continues to work on the back of Bray Wyatt. Oh, and a chopping DDT by King. Oh, my. King with the advantage. Whatever you do, Bray, you better not get up and look around. You're not going to like the view. So, yeah. Oh. Whoa. Wow. I never seen Kane manhandled like this ever. Oh dear. He's gonna do it. You know, in this world there are stranger things, and then there's the upside down world of Bray Wyatt. Yep, he did it. Randy? Red White has noticed Randy Orton on the, the trot. He's also upside down. I'm just looking at the world the way you see. Upside down. And no mercy. 
person that would turn your world right side up. Like this. Just want you to know that I can play your game better than you. So break quiet. I don't care who you are when they sit up like that, it freaks you out. Oh, damn, that's a good stuff. Is he back in the ring or is he going to run like a coward? He's going to run. I think Randy got your head. Kane's bleeding. So on his chin. But yet you're the one right away from Kane. That was interesting, at the least. Oh, Corbin. Oh, the joy. Excuse me, Baron. You have had an impressive streak of victories lately, and now. How did you, you think you were going to get by there and not pass some of the extra questions? Charlie, Seriously. I always have that one with attention. I don't care why Shane or Dean or Sign Jack, but if he thinks he's gonna come here and make waves, then Jack's dumber than he looks. And if he's stupid enough to climb in the ring with the baddest man on SmackDown Live, and then I'm gonna have to drop him where he's whatever. Oh hi, Jack. You're going to do what now? Where he stands. How about we find out if you're as bad as you think you are right now? I do my talking in the ring. Great. I'll find Daniel Bryan. We'll see if we can't continue this conversation in the ring. Now that's mm -hmm. something I want to see. He is so full of himself. Really? Your time is coming, I'm not getting the background and see if Randy's popping up. I don't think Randy or cares, but he is messing with a twisted individual. Um, that's his bliss. Here comes the number one contender for the SmackDown Women's Championship, Alexa Bliss. Yeah, but really looking to get rid of any butterflies you may have tonight because this Sunday at the SmackDown Live exclusive pay per view, no mercy. Alexa has the biggest match of her career so far as she takes on Becky Lynch for the SmackDown Women's Championship. Now, Alexa's taking the women's division by storm, but this Sunday, Becky's looking to evaporate her with straight mm -hmm. fire. Oh, 
Will Camarilla come out and try to interrupt the match? I heard that schedule from a DVR. Can't wait to see it. <laughs> She's out here for one reason and one reason only to interrupt the match. Listen, Nikki Bella knew exactly what she was doing at SummerSlam, okay? This is my hometown crowd, sold out arena, my very first pay per view. All my friends and family are there. But I had a talking on my back, okay? Nikki Bella knew exactly what she was doing. I'm competition to her. She's been around a long time. She knows who's going to be competition, who I'm a threat. So she had to take me out for that. I have to make it pay. Alexa was talking too much shit, and she didn't pay attention. Wow. And a lot of pressure on Alexa Bliss to miniature shoulders as she will challenge for the SmackDown Women's Championship on Sunday, but here's Nikki Bella again looking to put her away. Gives it to Kevin. And Carmella, you obviously had a problem with Nikki Bella, but is that your main goal here in WWE? You came in, you're a low draft pick, but a lot of people are low draft picks, so was Tom Brady. Well, that's very good by Nikki. Exactly. You know what? My whole reason for being here is to be champion, okay? I want to be champion. I want to be the most fabulous champion that's ever stepped foot in the WWE. Dropkick sends Alexa Bliss up. What's up, Nikki? What's up? What's up, Nikki? You thirsty Kardashian wannabe. That's all you are. Oh. <laughs> you should have said nothing. You should have said nothing. This is pretty good so far. Which SmackDown usually is a good show to watch. Usually it's just going to interfere one way or another. There's Becky. Oh, ho, ho, ho. That was a good one, too. I think this might turn into a tag team match. Which would be good. This is back here on SmackDown Live and during the break, SmackDown Live GM. Daniel Bryan officially made this a tag team match. It is now Nikki Bella and SmackDown Women's Champion Becky Lynch against Alexa Bliss and Carmella. Daniel Bryan doing his best Teddy Long impression. Make this a tag match. I love it. They want to fight? They got a TV show. Let them fight. Mm hmm. Alexa Bliss avoids the corner attack but doesn't nice get that elbow from Nikki Bella. Oh! Alexa Bliss, the number one yeah. bitch for the SmackDown Women's Jeez. Championship on loading the right hands. On Nikki Bella goes for the cover hook, so let only gets a two kill. You know, I wanted to see let go of, of the hair. Nikki came back from a possible career ending injury. She wasn't concerned with Carmella. I think that's what Carmella's upset about with her Nikki Bella. Oh, she's gonna be concerned now as Carmella goes for the cover, only gets a one count. Mounts her now and again. Carmella is very hot tempered. And quick to anger. Don't think they'll get you very far. Goes 
but Carmella, despite being the final pick in the SmackDown Live draft, making some big waves in the SmackDown Women's Division, especially at the expense of Nikki Bella. Tag made in comes Alexa Bliss. I think you're tough. Nikki's tougher, actually. And she's not Timber, too. This is why Becky's the champ. Yeah, but she's not going to have Carmella to help her out. Faith and Becky. As they can happen, Becky Lynch steps in, takes that super kick from Carmella, but look out! Here comes Becky Bella, picking up the pieces with the spear, taking her out to the floor, and then there's this a thing of beauty. This happens at No Mercy and Sacramento SmackDown exclusive pay per view. We have a new SmackDown Women's Champion, and it will be Alexa Bliss. Alexa Bliss says she will expose Becky Lynch as a one-hit wonder at the SmackDown Live exclusive pay-per-view No Mercy Sunday we'll in Sacramento. I'll be watching. We'll see. Oh, dear. We're back to this again. Or 
<laughs> oh my god. I'm liking it. You all have a career where you start somewhere. Now, what the hell are these two idiots out here for? I was really happy not seeing them for a while. Back on SmackDown Live, Central Tag Team Action, Simon Gotch, Aiden English, the Bond Villains already in the ring. Whatever. We don't get hype. Somebody's in trouble. Can't tell who it is yet. <laughs> I can go half a day and then my energy is gone. I just want a quarter of their energy. That's it. Something. I don't know what that was, but it was something. Why is the Ascension not here? But I get to cause the distraction and do something to cause the match to end early. That's a good question. Double lead to Simon Gotch and a beautiful missile drop kick. But Simon Gotch with that roundhouse to the spine of Zack Ryder. I don't understand this five minutes. Of the SmackDown Live Tag Team Division. The champions, Beauty and the Man of Beast. He slayed her end. Rhino defending the titles against the Uso Sunday. Oh, this large suplex there by Simon Gotch. Beat an English with a back press. Excellent teamwork there by the Bond uh, villains. Yeah, they don't do that. Got a tag team championship. You got a double line out of it. And an above ground roll. Those are good together. Just like the Bond villains appear to be on the same page of this matchup so far against Zack Ryder. Whoa! And Mojo Riley big move to the side of Zack Ryder's face by Simon Gotch. Oh my God! The referee's attention diverted by Aiden English. <laughs> Press. Ryder picks up. And that's that easy, huh? 
aggressive style of Bob Dillon's. Oh, they put up their dukes and deliver the dukes to oh Zach Ryder as they look to solidify their footing in the burgeoning SmackDown Live Tag Team Division. The Vaude Villains looking to gain some momentum at the expense of the High Pros. With a great win for the Vaude Villains. Well, the High Pros can certainly seem to be on a roll right now. The Vaude Villains can stop that. It moves them up to Tag Team ranks. Mojo Raleigh firing up the WWE Universe, big scoop and a slam by English. Oh, nice. This is with the knee drop. As an opening, with tag. The Simon Gotch quickly in. Mm. Oh, my gosh. Pulled up there by Zack Ryder, but he has to go Oh, snap. Here comes the crazy one. Oh, shoulder tackle by Raleigh. Get ready. This is going to be constant action. Are we sure he's crazy or he just alive? Oh, okay. oh, damn. <laughs> Goodbye. Now what about the Ascension? I mean, forget about them. Ascension don't look impressed. Don't mercy this Sunday. He's all over the place, just like a runaway trade. Oh, Mojo. Like he's always been on top when he isn't always on top. He's like he got into industry because of real world. Hello. I don't know, I don't, I don't know why he's acting like he's always been on top and shit. Oh, took Tay for the Royal Rumble. I always get excited, but you don't know who's going to come out. You don't know when they're going to come out. You don't know what they're going to do in the ring like Kofi. Kofi is always under the clothes. Because that's when, like, the West Coast you haven't seen in a while usually come back at. It's the Royal Rumble. Which is very exciting. Uh. Welcome to a very special edition of the most must-see WWE talk show in history. Welcome to Ms. TV, a Dolph Umentary. And I'm not going to waste any time. I want to bring out the guest of honor because this could be his final appearance on SmackDown Live. Could Ladies be, and gentlemen, maybe, or maybe you lose. Which is my hope. somebody to beat his ass, take the championship, and shut him up. That's it. I don't know what was his thinking about putting his career on the line for this title. Mm. Dolph, to 
tonight is not about me. It's about you, because the stakes could not be higher. Have no mercy, it is my Intercontinental Championship versus your career. Sunday, your career could be over, but I promise you, it will not be forgotten. Let's take a look. Oh, dear. Since I was a kid, five years old, I walked into practice going, where are the ropes? Because this is what I wanted to do. Thanks. Is my assumption. Dolph Ziggler's bad chance, I'm the champ. You got a history of losing. When you talk about Dolph Ziggler, you talk about old news. This Sunday, witness the final farewell of a WWE superstar that attempted the insurmountable. You don't have it. I'm Dolph Ziggler. Dolph Ziggler. Dolph Ziggler. <laughs> Tom Ziegler, you're Tom Ziegler. From an unmemorable debut. Current line is new Caddy. You know, Caddies are always the unsung heroes of golf. To a spirited struggle for attention. We are the Spirit Squad. And, okay, we're going to kick their tons of sand up in here. We fought through humiliation. I do remember that. And Dolph Ziggler is like, I think he's made a lot of mistakes. There's no friends in the locker room. You know, that, that's what you need. Could you ever see him in the main event? Absolutely not. And then his jokes. Oh, his jokes. Anybody hear single? Probably one of the biggest mistakes looking at something. That was so much easier than Tinder. And what crushing heartbreak for Dolph Ziggler once again. Oh, so close. After 11 long years of mediocrity, Dolph Ziggler says farewell to a career that never was. What the hell they do it all for? WWE 24, the success of a failure. This Sunday at No Mercy only on WWE. That kind of pisses me off. Just, just a little bit. If I was Dolph right now, I'd be kicking his ass. If my career was as embarrassing as yours, I would have quit years ago. I'm not going yet. Oh, so we you wish you would quit. Out of you. <laughs> See, that's the difference between us, Miz. At any point, at any point, if I wasn't happy, if I didn't like what was going on, I could have walked away. I could have quit, but I couldn't. You know why? Because for every ten embarrassing moments like you just showed in that video there'd be one magic moment with maybe a kid in the front row wearing a Dolph Ziggler t-shirt who high fives me and says he'll never forget it and I say no I'll never forget that that's what keeps me going he loves his fans you gotta admire that or even backstage or with make a wish and you're granting a wish and a little kid says they look up to me and that I'm their hero and I say, no, you're my hero. That is real emotion and you can't take that away from me. You can't handpick it. You can't force it. That is a real moment that stays with me. And even and even a couple of years ago, the night after WrestleMania, I cashed in the Money in the Bank contract and I became world champion. You know why that was so magical? Do you know why the hair is standing up on my arms right now? Because everyone in that arena and everyone at home was a part of it. They were the reason why I became champion. And that, that is why. That's why I can't walk away, man. That's why I can't walk away. 
I came to a crossroads, Miss. And I knew I had to put my career on the line. Because if I can't deliver, I don't belong here. But, but what you forgot, Miss, is that there is one last shred of dignity that burns in my guts every day that tells me I will deliver on Sunday. I will beat you, and I will become Intercontinental Champion. Oh, yeah. Miss, you're not taking my career from me. Not today, not tomorrow, not the week after, not Sunday, not the week after that, not ever. Because through all the hard work, all the sacrifice, all the crap, all the ups and the downs and the highs and the lows and the way down lows and all the love and the hate, it's been a hell of a ride and a damn good time. And I know all bad things must end, but damn it, I'm not done yet. <laughs> Yes, you are. Miss, yeah, just, just keep poking the bear. That's you a talk good about idea. Moments. You want to talk about a five-year-old in the front row? We'll say goodbye to them. Because this Sunday, your career will end, and it will end because of me. But don't worry. I have just the thing to raise your spirits. Good morning. I fucking can you right now. Heads together and knock them out. Choke them, cut their tongues out, something. Congratulations, I want them to shut up. They wouldn't be touching me. Don't just do his own favor and just punch him in the face. Of course they attack him because Miz is a coward and he can't do his own dirty work. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> 
You can't take it. I have a feeling that the Miss is going to lose Sunday. Maybe it's wishful thinking. Maybe it's hope. I don't care what it is. I just have a feeling he's going to do this. Which will make me very, very happy. Right there. They're back to pray. I know. I know. I found it. This should be very, very interesting. Very interesting. Jimmy? Nikki versus Carmella. And here come the Usos. Jay Uso will be in action one on one against one half of the American Alpha. Jason. I do miss the Usos' uh, other re entire and their faces because that was more like for tradition for them. And now that's just weird to me. You talk about a thoroughbred Jason Jordan, a pre sports star in college. I talked to their Hall of Fame father, Rikishi, and he told the Usos to take what is theirs. But that might be easier said than done because this Sunday at No Mercy, the Russo's face Heath Slater and Rhino for their opportunity at the SmackDown Tag Team Championships. Beauty and the Bad Beast against the Russo Sunday No Mercy, but right now Jason Jordan immediately on the attack on Jay Russo. Hey, will Heath have to give back his double wide if he loses? I think it'd be real sad. First one yeah. by Jordan Telegraph, the back body drop, kick to the shoulder by Jay Russo. Oh, 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 snaps the neck and then mm. back off that top rope and Uso quickly goes for the cover. Jay Uso. No, good thing here. A better move by Jay Uso, something you expect. They've got a, a new look, a new sound, and definitely a new attitude. The Urban Uso's looking to treat the rest of the tag team division like their favorite rappers treat each other in those diss tracks. There's Chad Gable. Been nursing that left knee injury thanks to the Usos. The American Alpha poses a serious threat, so they're trying to take out their toughest competition. Of course they are. One of the premier tag team in the WWE for the last several years have been the Usos. They see this stud tag team come in, of course they want to take them out. Two time tag team champions, Usos. Can't blame them for that. Jason I don't agree how they kept doing it, but you can't blame him for trying to take out competition. Oh my god, you better run now. I told you. I told y'all to run. I said y'all should have ran. The Usos want to take out you just should have won and ran. Because the Usos are like a very bad attitude streak right now. So. Oh. Oh. 
Yeah, now the answers don't want anything to do with them. Well, that was interesting. Oh, Work wants to play mind games with the master. I don't think that's going to work. I think you just realize it's not going to work this time either. A couple of combustible elements in play there as Randy Orton battles free line at no mercy. But last week on Talking Smack, it featured an explosive appearance by John Cena with some pointed comments from Dean Ambrose. Oh. You have something that belongs to me, and I finally decided that I would like it back. I can get away with opportunity. And, and you say opportunity for you guys. It's an opportunity for me as well. If I'm good enough, I can get put in a championship match and get a chance to make history. I'm not sitting here right that I wasn't the first draft pick. I'm happy to be on the team, and I'm happy to be on the field. Every single time I get put on the field, Everyone knows they're going to see something special. That could be against AJ, that could be against Dean, and certainly it's going to be at no mercy when I try to make history. You're a lazy part-timer. Yes, after I'm done talking smack, I'm taking a jet to New York because I need to go back to work. Well, the sum of the five people who surround yourself, and I surround myself with people who just go. People who are the first to show up and the last to leave. Quite frankly, Dean Ambrose would slow me down. Dean Ambrose said John Cena and Dean Ambrose don't like each other. No. Dean Ambrose doesn't like John Cena. John Cena doesn't care about Dean Ambrose. At no mercy, you can just step up or step aside. And that's it. Wow. Wow, these words are just going back and forth. John Cena has some powerful words for Dean Ambrose. And tonight, Ambrose is to confront John with AJ oh, Styles there as well. There's no favorite in this one, but if there's anything coming up for this Sunday, it's going to be great. Oh my goodness. Time <sighs> for Jack. That's where I go. Oh, 
four, one ball. Introducing first from Perry, Oklahoma, weighing in at 275 pounds, he is a real American, Jack Swagger. It's going to go down. That might be one of the worst promos I've ever seen. Well, 
WWE Universe firmly behind Jack Swagger as he looks to take down Baron Corbin here on SmackDown Live. Oh. What a cheat shot there while the referee's head was turned. Well, the referee was admonishing Steiner had a kind of five to get Baron Corbin wow. out of the corner. Corbin just taking advantage of the situation, John. That's what we're going to do. Strengths right here. This is what Corbin should do. We talk about it. A clash of some styles. This is exactly what you expect. Swagger trying to out wrestle Baron Corbin. Baron Corbin trying to out strike Jack Swagger. Mm -hmm. Baron Corbin with the upper hand here on SmackDown Live. <laughs> they frame you for these seconds. Jack Swagger and Swagger's SmackDown Live in ring debut. Here's what transpired during the break. Take a look here. Swagger's leg got caught up in the ropes and he hit hard. Ow. Look at this display of power by Baron Corbin. That is incredible. Damn. Six on Swagger who injured his knee. Yeah, there's some tough guys behind us who joined us. Danny Barrett of the USA Eagles seventh rugby team is uh, here in the San Diego tonight. Down here training. Had a great showing on Olympics against the Fijian team. Future gold medals came up a little bit short. Half Nelson Chinlock here by Barrett Corbin. Of course, you only get one chance to make a first impression. And it is SmackDown Live in ring debut. Jack Swagger would like to knock off the upstart. The lone wolf, Barrett Corbin, but he's in top. Ooh, here he comes, though. Flatting those right hands into the front basket oh. of Corbin, who responds with a vicious oh. knee. So the eyes are the windows to the soul, John. Looks like their Corbin's soul is cold and calculated. And Baron Corbin is a future world champion. I think he has every bit of the, the, what he needs as far as tools physically and mentally. Don't well, forget Swagger is a two-time world champion. And you gotta love Jack Swagger. He comes to SmackDown first thing he wants to do is he wants to take on the toughest guy in here. He thinks that's Baron Corbin. Whoa. I won't disagree with him either, by the way. Lands on his feet and comes into the ring by his neck with the two boots for Jack Swagger. Trying to turn around. Oh, and he just crashes into Corbin. Jack's on a row right now. by Swagger. I told you, it would be pretty. If you like combat sports, this is fun to watch. I crush the mm -hmm. into the slam. It's two alpha males going at it. There can only be one at SmackDown. Oh, looking for the swagger. Oh, oh he caught the ankle. Ankle left. Going around the middle. Okay, talk about a class. Where are you going to go? This is what you're talking about. Jack Swagger been working with us the entire match. Look at him. He only got the opportunity. He's got it cinched in there, too. Mm -hmm. It's a bad position for Baron Corbin. Will he force Baron Corbin to tap? Just inches away from that line of rope. <laughs> With the veteran, Swagger. Oh, he tapped. He tapped. Referee calls the end of the year. He's going to win our play. He's going to win Jack Swagger. Told you. Jack Swagger wins his SmackDown live in ring debut. I don't care what the referee called. He didn't tap. Same match you were. You think the Lone Wolf Baron Corbin would tap to anybody? He gets ankle broke first. He did. We saw Give it. Give me a replay. I'm begging you. Okay. To tell the call. Let's see the replay. Well, let's replay some Frank Slater. We got this match shooting to end it. Well, let's revisit. Let's see. The action. But the Chris Green Champ. What was that? What did he say? What was happening? You've got to be kidding me. The rope is right in front of it, guys. That's a tough call. This is a tough call. It's the final one. The referee's decision stands, and Jack Swagger forcing Baron Corbin to tap Corbin. And now he's going to have a hissy fit. The referee is wrong. Very proud of you. Know what's in it, Bill? The thing was covered a couple of times, but it's definitely a bad throw. No one are moving. Well, it's guaranteed. He's under a tantrum. 
Oh my god. What kind of tantrum at this point going to do for you? Nothing. Nothing. Oh, yes. There we go. Doing catchphrases now? Is that what we're doing? It's not even how you say it. It's the land of opportunity. And I would agree with that. You see, at SummerSlam, mm. I had the opportunity to beat John Cena and become the face that runs the place. And I did. And then at Backlash, I had the opportunity to beat Dean Ambrose and become the WWE World Champion. And obviously, I did that too. Okay. And at no mercy, I have the opportunity to beat Dean Ambrose, John Cena, at the same time, I become the. <laughs> Thank you, God. I was getting bored with that speech. You don't need to look crazy in our lives. I'm going to tell you who's this one. I'm going uh oh, he's pacing. That's not good. To become what? Become what? The clown who runs the town? <laughs> the pastor who runs the nest? What? The chump? The chump that what? The chump that what? Come on! Spit it out! The chump that what? What? That's it, just the chump. Because <laughs> that's what she became. After a 15 year career with every title there was to win all around the world, believe me. Nobody respects that more than me, but you finally make it to the big leagues. You only got one more mountain to climb, and what do you do? You take the low road. You did. You might have been fair and square. Could have been a great moment for you, but you threw that away. Congratulations. Good for you. Have fun parading around with that way. You still can. That's not why I'm mad right now. Mm -hmm. I'm mad right now because I had you pinned for about 27 seconds last week when John Cena just had to interfere. John Cena, who could care less about me, just couldn't stand the fact that I beat him two weeks ago. John Cena couldn't stand the fact that a lowlife like me was about to win the WWE World title right in front of his face, and he just had to get involved, and he showed his true colors. And John Cena should be thanking me. John Cena should thank me for even bringing the WWE World title smack down to begin with, so he even had the chance to make an attempt at breaking that Ric Flair record. Oh, boy. This is going to break down 
so fast, it's gonna be fine. A Ric Flair record. 16 times champion. But will he make history Sunday? Don't know. We'll find out. We'll find out Sunday. And I will do my predictions Sunday. I'll let you know what I think and who I think will win. Say, John, everybody knows what you're gonna say. So, for once in your life, just shut up. You're chasing history, right? You're gonna be a 16 time world champion, right? It's a possibility. How dare you? How dare you compare yourself to an icon? A legend like Rick Flair. Hmm. I don't care how many championships you have won. You will never be in the same conversation as Rick Flair. Sure that? But to tell you the truth, John, I wouldn't be worried about Rick Flair's legacy if I were you. I would be worried about AJ Styles. Why? You want to chase history? Chase it, John. It's going to be a long road because you chase history. I make history. Okay. Y'all forget about Dean over there. And he's getting so antsy. Let's hear, it. Let's hear it with those. Which means he's supposed to knock one of you out, if not both. I love that sign that says don't trick or teen. I screwed myself over. You're going to say that I'm my own worst enemy. You're going to say that I've always been my own worst enemy. You're going to tell me to stop complaining. You're going to tell me to stop making excuses and see you're going to spin it. You're going to spin it around or the guy you got screwed over twice now looks like the jerk. Because that's what you do. Because you're the master of the political spin. You're really good at it. You should run for office. That's how you've been able to stay on top for 15 years. Heck, that's, that's why you're in this match to begin with. Anybody who's a threat to you, you undercut them. You cut their legs out from underneath you. You stab them in the back. You've been trying to do that to me since day one. And you're never going to be able to. You know why, Mr. Hustle? Because you can't outwork me. You think you work harder than me? Because on your day out, you're flying a private jet to some award show. Uh huh. I'm in this ring every night, blood, sweat, and tears, in wars. It's Mr. True. Royalty, the poster boy for loyalty to the WWE Universe. These fans for this business. Check my resume. Zero sick days. Zero days on the injured list. Zero days off. Period. More matches than anybody in this company last year and the year before that. I guess you got no respect for that. Mr. Spats, you got no respect for me. I know that. You have zero respect for me because I've never been one of these guys who came in here and kissed your ass and came to you looking for advice and played your little game. I've never played by your rules. Not now, 
I'm not gonna start. And, uh, so I guess it being like fake plastic suck ass behind the scenes is what it takes to become a bona fide superstar in your eyes. You can have it. I'll be over here. I'll beat Dean Ambrose because that's real. Have fun being the guy who plays John Cena on TV. No. Is cheap. Oh. oh damn. I knew it was gonna go down. Time for Tyler's over. Oh my goodness. Oh, my gosh, AJ. AJ Styles. AJ Styles says he is chasing history. He's making history. Oh, what a by the WWE World Champion. Dean. Get a chance for now. See? When it comes to Dean Ambrose, he, he's unpredictable. There's no champion's advantage on that match. Basically. Oh yeah. So there can only be one this champion. Sunday, again, we'll see them. Equal history. Will Dean Ambrose reclaim the title? Or... So thank you guys so much for watching. Please give this video a like if you liked it. Please like, subscribe, and share for more. And I'll see you guys tomorrow for my Pokemon Go update.